Your life is your life. Don't let it be clubbed into dank submission. Be on the watch. There are ways out. There is a light somewhere. It may not be much light, but it beats the darkness. Be on the watch. The gods will offer you chances. Know them. Take them. He can't beat death, but he can beat death in life, sometimes. And the more often you learn to do it, the more light there will be. The mind is the matrix in and of itself. Right now, today, in this moment, I promise you, the matrix has you. If you guys know David Foster Wallace's concept of this is water, to a fish, water is so ubiquitous it ceases to exist. Now we all have that same thing and it's playing on us and it's keeping us from becoming who we want to become. And that thing is our mindset, it's our belief system. It is so ever present. It is so ingrained into the fabric of who you are and the way that you process data, you don't even notice it. You don't even know that it's real. And this is the thing that impacts your life. It is your inability to see that your mindset controls everything, that it is water in and of itself. Now, when I heard this from Shakespeare, I realized that once you become aware of the water, you can change everything. Any moment, you can choose to believe something new about yourself. Now, the weird thing about belief is as soon as you change that belief, it becomes true. Why that is, I will never quite understand. What weird quirk of human evolution has left us in a space where simply believing it makes it true? If you think you're dumb, guess what? You're dumb. <laughs> Truly. And you will act in accordance with that belief, and that should scare the shit out of you. Fear is not real. The only place that fear can exist is in our thoughts of the future. It is a product of our imagination, causing us to fear things that do not at present and may not ever exist. That is near insanity, Katar. Do not misunderstand me. Danger is very real, but fear is a choice. The impulse to dream has been slowly beaten out of me through the experience of life. And most people have stopped living their dreams because of the lessons they've learned from life or things they've picked up because we've only been born with two fears. The fear of a loud sound or the fear of falling. All the other fears are fears we learn. Fears we pick up. Whatever you're scared of. No life value you brought to the planet, far more and more, whatever you favor, you're stronger. So as we begin to look toward the future and look at what will it take for us to break through those fears, one, acknowledging the fear, knowing it's all right, some fear is healthy, beginning to know that your dreams, your passions, your drive to achieve whatever it is you want, as it has more power and meaning, it will move you past your fear. As you begin to feel that you deserve it, your passion and goal is so strong, the fears won't matter. One can have no smaller or greater mastery than mastery over oneself. That's Da Vinci. Da Vinci did amazing things with his life. I wanted to do equally amazing things with mine. And if that's the game that we're playing, if I can construct my belief system, if I can choose at any moment, to believe something that's more empowering than I was believing the moment before and that that will actually find its way into my actions, allow me to do things that I couldn't do the moment before, then it's like that moment in the Matrix where Neo realizes he knows Kung Fu. And that's like, as funny as that is, that's how I think about life. To me, the very fundamental purpose of life is to find out how many skills I can acquire that have utility and then put that utility to the test in service of something greater than myself. When we understand the sacredness, the beauty, the eternal nature 
of our own spirit, then we can recognize it in creation and we can recognize it in others. When we don't realize, experience, perceive the sacredness of our own true self, then our perception is an illusion of the world. But when we understand who we are and understand our harmony and relationship with the world around us and the people around us, then we're actually seeing everything as truth. We're seeing as a, a, a spiritual reality, even in this world.